Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project. I'm Psycho again with you today and then this one I'm joining you with my short haired friend from about five years ago. Damn, that was, that was a long time ago when I had short hair. Um, and we're, I'm gonna be doing the review for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the first installment of the game. So, let's just get on to it. Um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse was pretty much the overly anticipated Dragon Ball game um, that everybody wanted, um, which gives you a new look to the story, um, and you actually being in the story and helping all of the main characters uh, throughout the game to pretty much get to get to see what's happening to in the past. Um, so. Uh, let's just get on to the story. You pretty much pop up as a recruit in the in the time patrol um, force or a squad or what whatever sh we should call it um, to kind of help Trunks and everybody with the um, with somebody changing and tweaking the future um, by powering up the bad guys and them um, eventually beating uh, Goku and all of the all of the other good guys. So the story pretty much leads us through the whole Dragon Ball C Dragon Ball Z series. Actually, the original Dragon Ball is not in there, um, but through the whole Dragon Ball series, starting off with um, with Planet Namek and everything, and finishing at the Boo series. Then um, then actually DLCs were released. Of Dragon Ball GT, so Absolutely. you can actually um, play th through um, the main parts of that game as well, with the Shadow Dragon Saga, Super yeah. 17 Saga, and everything else that the game has to offer. Um, throughout the game, pretty much um, the story is well, pretty much the same as it was in the series, with some tweakings done, um, especially with the with the Time Patrol series, well, with the Time Patrol squad that actually um, goes and helps the uh, the original characters to get through um, to kind of reshape history back into how it is supposed to be. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the gameplay is pretty much. It's more of a console game than a um, than a PC game, um, but so the gameplay revolves pretty much around a third-person beat 'em up game um, where you have where you can equip uh, different abilities to help you get through the um, through the fights. Uh, you can challenge time patrollers throughout the game, um, and it also uh, features a PvP combat which was really popular back in the day when it was released but after Xenoverse 2 got released um, this one kind of got um, well this one kind of got neglected because they upgraded everything in the Xenoverse 2 um, which made it even better um, added new characters, added new power-ups, everything um, as you know, you can shape your character pretty much the way you want it to be. With the power-ups, with the cosmetic items and everything, um, you can you can make your character how you'd like it to be in the Dragon Ball series. Um, get all of your favorite power-ups, um, use items and everything to help you throughout the game, and pretty much complete the story and be the main bad guy who is changing uh, the history. So, I'm gonna recommend this game to all of you Dragon Ball fans, um, all, of the, all of you guys who like beat-em-up games with a bit of a challenge actually, uh, the game itself is not that easy, um, especially in the later parts, even if you are powered up, you have um, a high enough level with a lot, of, um, a lot of abilities and everything, you still need to find a... Um, a build that kind of suits you to pretty much be able to beat a one-on-one -on -one battle, a five-on-one, and there's a lot of stuff you can do throughout the game. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this one. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be joining you guys in the next one.